Hello, and welcome to this mini lecture on rating bias. In this mini lecture, we're going to take a look at different types of rating biases, understand where they come from, how to recognize them, and reflect on biases that we might be prone to. So what is a bias? We're all human. Our thoughts on people are driven by our past interactions, their behavior, and a variety of feedback we receive. And these influence how we see others. Reality is we all have biases, but our objective is to understand these different types of biases and the biases that we might be prone to so that we don't act on them. So first, let's take a look at some different biases. First, there's the halo effect. And this is when a supervisor manager overrates an employee. It may be times when it's perceived that the employee can do no wrong, any mistakes may be minimized, they might be blamed on someone else, or even just swept under the rug. The halo effect can occur when a supervisor or manager overrates an employee because of an individual relationship or some preference that the manager has for that employee, the way they work or the work that they do. So this could take the form of not seeing worsening performance, may attribute outstanding performance in one area of their work to another, or frequently it's something that the employee has done really well most recently, and that overshadows the things that the employee may not have been done doing so well during their past performance. Similar to the halo effect, but just the opposite, is the horns effect. We've all seen employees, or maybe even been in a position, where we felt like we couldn't do anything right. Even when we work really hard and do well, it might not be recognized. This could be the horns effect, and is simply the opposite, as we said, of the halo effect. The horns effect exists when a supervisor or manager underrates an employee consistently. Perhaps the manager has set impossibly high standards, or there are unrealistic expectations that are overshadowing overall performance. And similar to the halo effect, but just the opposite, maybe there is poor performance in one area that is impacting performance in another area, and uh, the employee is not getting credit for it. The leniency bias exists when everyone is just rated as outstanding. It almost seems as if the manager doesn't want to do the hard work of distinguishing differences in performance. So regardless of actual performance, people are just all rated really well. And just the opposite, the strictness effect and the strictness bias is when everyone is rated extremely poorly. We frequently hear managers say, well, the people can't perform at an outstanding level consistently. There are times when people can do an outstanding job, and it needs to be acknowledged that strictness bias can be very overcritical for people and not motivating. And then the average performance, again, is that manager who just wants to get it done, possibly, and everyone is just rated as average. There's no distinction between different levels of performance. So this is kind of a middle-of-the-road bias and doesn't allow people to see what their strengths and weaknesses are as they're going through performance reviews. So what are the implications? The impact of these rating biases is that it doesn't accurately distinguish the differences in performance that truly exist. We need to remember that a key goal in completing performance reviews is to ensure, ensure that they are objective. An objective review can be most valuable to the employee, to you, and to your team. All employees are different, and they have different development needs, there are different places in their roles. As you complete performance reviews, you want to make sure that you are finding ways to be objective and resist those rating biases. So be reflective. What biases do you think you might be prone to as a leader? And be conscious every day to try and challenge those biases and see things differently. I trust that you found this mini lecture helpful and answered some of your questions and got you thinking about rating biases. Like any good leader, you'll have additional questions that we'd like to discuss with you. Stay in touch with us and join us the conversation on Twitter using hashtag leadwell. Thank you.